This video extends the exercises created as part of the Debtoberfest Cloud APIs event. We're going to go through exercise 07, which is part of the section of authentication, refresh tokens, and data pagination with the SAP Arriva APIs. In this case, we're going to use Python to authenticate against the SAP Arriva APIs. We will look at what our refresh tokens are and how we're going to use them. So let's navigate to exercise 07. In order to be able to complete exercise 07, uh, there are some prerequisites. So uh, if we look at the prerequisites, you basically need a Python 3 installed in your computer. Uh, you will need to create a Python uh, virtual environment in order to install the required libraries. And you will need an approved SAP Arriva developer application. So make sure to complete this uh, before proceeding with the exercise. You can see here that on the left hand side, I'm on terminal and I've already cloned the Cloud APIs virtual event um, repo. So I'm just going to navigate here to exercises and 07, which is uh, what we're going to be working on right now. Um, uh, in this case, uh, I need to navigate to the scripts folder. So see the scripts. And then uh, I will make sure to install, create this virtual environment and install the required uh, dependencies. Right, so this is installing. And now I have my environment and now I'm able to run the scripts uh, included in, as part of this exercise. Um, just to, for everything to be easy to see, I'm going to open it in Visual Studio Code. So let's, uh, let's change this. Okay, so we are ready now. Now our environment is is in essence ready. Yep, I'm going to activate here again uh, the the Arriva environment API authentication, the Python environment that I just created. Okay, um, so now let's go back to to the main exercises. If you follow the previous exercises, you should be familiar now with the basic concepts of OAuth two. Uh, now we're just going to focus on how to authenticate and use those refresh tokens. Okay. Um, so we are going to focus on only on authentication. We are not going to retrieve data from the SAP Arriva APIs, but this will get you really familiar with how OAuth credentials work, for example, in this case, in the Arriva APIs. Now, um, so you might wonder what is it that uh, an OAuth 2.0 successful response looks like? In the case of the Arriva APIs, this is what your um, response looks like. So you see that it has an access token, refresh token, token type, scope, and when it expires. This structure is basically what's included in the standard. So if we visit RFC 8693, we can see here that the same fields are specified here. You can visit this and uh, have a look at it. Uh, for you to have a deeper understanding of what we, what each of these fields means. I also included a brief explanation of what each field is. Uh, so for example, our access token is uh, basically the main thing that we need. Uh, this is what we are going to send to the API in order to retrieve data uh, from the API. Uh, refresh token, uh, we're going to use it uh, later when we want to refresh uh, an access token. As you can see here, the access token that we get expires after 1440 seconds, which is 24 minutes. So we will need to use the refresh token in order, in order to be able to get a new access token. Okay. Now the token type, it's, uh, it's a bare to uh, token type, which means that we just need to send it as part of the authorization header. I'll show you how in a bit. And, um, and then expires. As mentioned before, this will tell us how long uh, before our access token expires. So for example, if we are continuously calling the API, we will need to make sure that the access token is refreshed before it expires. So now, um, now that we have our repo here, we're going, we need to set it up. Uh, we need to set it up so that, uh, things work, uh, as expected. Uh, so in this case, uh, it is telling me to navigate to the script folder, which is what I already opened here, and create a file called .m. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. Uh, so I create a file .m. That .m file should contain these details. 
similar to to what you have here. So I'm just going to copy that and paste them here. These are the details that the script uses in order to be able to authenticate with the API. So as mentioned in the prerequisites, you do need an approved SAP Arriba application to complete this exercise. So you need to replace the details uh, that your SAP Arriba administrator shared with you and set them up here. So in this case, I'm just going to replace uh, these details uh, here. Um, I need my API key and the base64 op string. Um, excellent. So now I have this, I save it and everything's fine here. Um, so I've saved, uh, I've set the API details, uh, which we're going to use to authenticate with the, um, uh, with the Arriba APIs. Now let's explore the Arriba authentication script. This script is included in the exercise, which is, um, well, it was created to facilitate uh, completing the exercise. So you can go through the script to see exactly what uh, the script is doing. But in essence, uh, you're able to get an access token, you're able to refresh an access token. And also it is possible for this script to run continuously so that it uh, retrieves an access token and then just keeps refreshing that access token for you. Okay. Um, the script will also be storing the response of the auth server in a local file. Uh, and that's just for reference purposes so that you can see what the actual auth uh, server response looks like. Okay. We're now in step four of our exercise. So we are going to authenticate against the SAP Arriba APIs. The method responsible of doing that is the get access token method. Um, and, um, you will see, for example, what is it that we need in order to call the API. In this case, as a payload, we need to send a grant type, which is of uh, client credentials uh, type. Um, apart from that, we need to send a couple of headers. Uh, one is the authorization, uh, which will be basic, and we specify the basics for auth string. That basics for auth string, if you remember, it's what uh, our SAP Arriba developer administrator uh, provided to us. And um, it's just grabbing the, the value from, from our environment. The content type needs to be of application um, WW form URL encoded. And we're going to post that to the API. Okay. Then the API will reply back uh, with, uh, with a JSON payload. The JSON payload will look something like this. What do you see here? Okay. So if we want to try that, uh, how the authentication works. We just need to copy this uh, command line, which is basically calling our script in the mode access token. And verbose is just so that it can display everything that's uh, going to output. So here, we run that. And there you go. That's our authentication response. And as you can see, this is exactly the same as what you have here. Well, not exactly the same, but uh, because uh, the access token is different, but it, it follows uh, the same structure, okay? So we can see that the OAuth server response includes the fields that were highlighted in step one. And this is how we get an access token. This access token is what we can use now in order to retrieve data from the SAP Arrow APIs. Now we're in step five, where we're going to look at how to refresh an access token using the refresh token mechanism. If we go to our script, we can see that we have a method for the refresh access token. You'll notice that there is a different grant type. Previously, we were using client credentials. Now we're using the refresh token. Also, as part of the payload, we need to send the previous refresh token. In the headers, we are still including the base64 auth string. The content type is exactly the same and the URL is the same. So we'll need to post a request to that same URL, but the only difference is the payload that we're sending uh, for the refresh token. So now that we know the difference uh, between getting an access token and refreshing an access token, uh, we will go ahead and refresh the access token by running the following command line here. So we'll copy that. But first, uh, we'll notice that, for example, we retrieve our access token at 2 p.m. Let's see what time it is. Eight. So now it's 50 minutes after 
we re we received our access token. So it's been more than the 24 minutes that the API expects uh, to refresh our token. So let's uh, paste that. And you see that we get a successful response. Now it tells us that the next refresh token can be in uh, 12 minutes time. No, sorry, in actually 22 minutes time. Uh, and here, for example, it tells us uh, when was it updated, we get a new access token, we get a new refresh token. So this new refresh token is the one that we will need to specify in our next request. You can see that these are different. 0E60, and here it's uh, 3095. The access token, you can see that it's also different. 9AE0 and 11A, 11BA. Okay. So there's also a, this additional field, time updated, which uh, basically informs us uh, when was the token updated. Um, okay. So now, uh, well, we basically made it to the end of this exercise. So we've covered um, what we should expect as a response uh, from an OAuth server. Also, how can we authenticate against the SAP Review APIs, which is by using the get access token uh, method here. Uh, how can we get uh, a refresh access token, which basically uses this uh, refresh access token? Um, and that's it. The exercise also includes a couple of questions. I will encourage you to go through these questions and try to answer them, as they will help you understand better the contents of this exercise. Thank you.